Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Sindelar, and just the other day I was having a conversation with someone in the industry who was saying dentists ask him all the time, how can I start the conversation? They, they don't know how to initiate this in their practice. Well, if you initiate it when the patient sits down, it's way too late. They won't hear a thing you have to say. It starts way before they sit down in the chair, and it continues, and to a certain extent, it's everywhere in your practice. From start to finish, when their visit is done, they should know more about oral systemic health than most dentists do. So in our practice, we don't just have a checkup. We don't just have a cleaning. We have a full wellness visit. The patients expect that now, and, and they appreciate it completely. We start, and it starts even from their previous care. We go ahead and we let them know the importance for them for their next visit. We almost eliminated no-shows in our hygiene schedule, and that, that's every dentist's dream. Is this something that you can do to improve relationships in your practice? Completely. There is no doubt in my mind, because I see it all the time. Patients will appreciate you going through the trouble of helping them with the subject of understanding how important this is. And it won't take more of your time. It won't take more of your hygienist time. It will be spread out to various areas of communication in your practice that start from the first contact they have till the point they leave. It's carried out by front, it's carried out by uh, assistants, it's carried out by the hygienist to a certain extent, but all fitting into their normal time frame. And by the time you talk to them, they already understand what the importance is and it completely changes the approach. The outcome is vastly reduced no-shows. We have case presentations that go smoothly. We have case acceptance. And we also have gotten quite a few referrals because of them understanding how important this is. I've helped so many people with this thought. And I, I think of one, one dear, dear friend uh, in South Carolina. He's as good a clinician as anybody you'll ever meet. But he didn't have his team set up to be able to help him with this conversation. And when he would try, it, it was eating him up. He would start talking and he was wasting a lot of his time. It was just words coming out of his mouth. And we set the systems up in his practice and I, I just know how, how he was in such a bad place. And it, and it has completely turned his case acceptance around. I'll tell you, if anybody wants any help with this, give us a look at drdansindelar.com.